Around a quarter of people with HIV in the UK aren't even aware they have it. And with 30th World AIDS Day approaching, how many of us know the facts? I mean, if I don't know much about it, then not many people will probably know much about it, to be honest. Perhaps people don't think about it so much as they used to. How many people in the UK even know what HIV stands for? Ashamed and I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, no idea. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I don't have a clue. Sex with a virgin or animal can cure AIDS, and the epidemic began when a human male had sexual intercourse with an African monkey. These are some of the bizarre misconceptions still around regarding HIV and AIDS. I spoke with Wendy Jarrett, who volunteers at Solar a Northampton-based organisation who provide information, advice and support for those dealing with HIV and AIDS. A real is out there and um, the reality is you wouldn't know who has it. They could be in this room of, say, 50 people, they could be three people of having it. Some of those won't even know that they've contracted it. People are living healthy, long lives. So is there a big difference between the awareness of people now compared to when the virus first came about? There is a huge difference between when HIV and AIDS was first kind of became into the public domain, as I said before. Um, there were fairly regular adverts. You certainly see a couple each day. Usually, the vast majority were after the watershed, um, but they were fairly dramatic about reducing um, the, the risk of infection um, and AIDS. If you would like to get involved, visit www.worldsaidsday.com or simply show your interest by wearing the colour red. I'm Ashley Addison reporting for Euro and Journalism.